Hey everybody, it's me, Justin 2.0, and um, no, I'm not dead. I've just been away for a long time because I've had a lot of work. <clears throat> and anyways, I figured I'd make a video, you know, um, from what I've been able to, you know, sit down and actually watch about the whole um, Xbox One reveal. I've been, I'm getting more and more disappointed, I mean I was already disappointed in Microsoft to begin with. But this is just, this is ridiculous, and this is kind of where I saw it going anyway, and kind of why I wanted to get into PC gaming to begin with, because consoles are just, they're dying, and there's no point in holding on to that, and I figured, you know what, I'll start PC gaming. That was about two years ago, and I'm still PC gaming. The only consoles I own are a Nintendo 64, a GameCube, and a Sega Genesis. So, no, um, the the whole you can't bring your game over to a friend's house type deal. That's stupid. I mean, that's kind of one of the points of having a console is it's a convenience. It's a convenience thing, and you're taking the convenience out of it when you're having to put in codes when you're having to do all this all this crap basically to, to for your your shit to work there's no point um for that for, for you to have to do all this shit and then like you can only you know let a friend borrow a game if he's been on your friends list for more than 30 days who, who are they to tell you what you can do with your game once you bought it? It's your game. You bought it. I remember being able to go, you know, take my my Nintendo 64 games as a kid, go to my friend's house, and plug it into, and you know, slap the cartridge right into his N64, and we'd be able to play my game. I don't know where that's going, why it's happening now. I mean, like, I don't remember, you know, putting Majora's Mask into my friend's console and going, you have to activate this on, on, on your friend's N64, but to do that you have to deactivate it on yours. And, it, no, that didn't happen. Because it was my game. See... The thing is, I mean, with PCs, it was already that way, where, you know, once you bought a game and you activate it on your computer, but that's just, that was one of the downsides of PC, it still is, but I know once I've bought a game on PC, it's mine. If it's a crap game, it's mine. If it's a really good game, it's mine. I own, one second, give me a second, I'm gonna keep talking. While I pull this up, I gotta wait for Steam to load. I'm at my computer right now. But, well, of course I am. I'm recording this. But, um, yeah. I own, like, over a hundred something games on Steam. I play a lot of games. I haven't, lately, I've been playing maybe Euro Truck Simulator. That's besides the point. I play a lot of games. Um, I own a lot of games. But,. From what I understand, you can't, I can't give those games away, but they're my games. They are on my Steam account. Alright, here it is. Installed, I have, installed, I have 127 games installed on my computer. I have 200 games even in total. That's all the games I own. I own 200 games. That's from... Alan Wake, to Batman Arkham City, to Crisis, to Wolfenstein 3D. Um, but the whole, you know, those are my games. It's my PC. But that's the thing. Like, I think if you download your account onto a friend's console, and then you go over to his house and play a game, it only lets you play it for an hour. See, if I downloaded my Steam profile, or if I, you know, allowed my friend's computer access to my Steam profile, and I downloaded the game on Steam, so long as I am signed in on my Steam account on his computer, 
I can play my games. Any of them. Which is why I have a gaming desktop, and I have a laptop that will also game. It's not a gaming laptop, but it plays games. So, I can play my games, and I can also put my laptop in offline mode when a friend is over, and let him play my games on my laptop. Any game I have downloaded, aside from a few that will only work in online mode for DRM purposes. But, if Steam is in offline mode on my laptop, and I have Steam online on my desktop, we could both be playing the same game. And if you're still into the whole LAN party thing, we can both be playing on our local net on my local network. This is just like this baffles me. Why? Why would you buy an Xbox One when this is just this is retarded? And I'm guessing that's all I have to say today. That's all I had. But uh, I figured I'd put in my two cents. This is some retarded ass shit. Of, I mean, you might as well switch to PC. That's all I can say. If you don't switch to PC, then, well, you're gonna be stuck with the really shitty consoles. Um, the only ones I'm looking forward to seeing is really is the PS4, but, I mean, then again, I, I'm still, I'm still a PC gamer. I think the only next-gen console I'm gonna buy is a Wii U, and that's for Rayman Legends. The new Zelda game that'll be coming out for it. Like, I, you know they're gonna release a Zelda game for it. Um, and, Maj not Majora's Mask, uh, Wind Waker. The Wind Waker HD remake. That's gonna be cool. And one more game that was announced that uh, is gonna be a Wii U exclusive and 3DS. I have a, I have a 3DS. So I'm gonna get it for the 3DS as well. But it's gonna be a, you know, Nintendo exclusive, which is the Sonic Lost World. That'll be cool. And I'm looking forward to that. But, uh, yeah. Once my schedule frees up and I've got some more free time off of work, it's like 4 a.m. I literally just got off work and came home and made this video. So, it's like 4 a.m. I gotta get back up at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, I need to get some sleep. And I need to get this edited and uploaded. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace off.